Hey, today I'm working on a reloading machine. It's made by uh, the Mayville Engineering Company. It's called the MEC Model 8567, the Grabber. I guess that's the nickname they, the company gives it because of the uh, sizing die they've included in it. I guess, I don't really know. But there's a few little fine detail points about this that you'll soon run into when you start using one of these machines. And I'll show you what uh, you should be aware of. So sooner or later, uh, you're going to get, a, or mostly sooner probably, when you first start out, you'll end up maybe uh, spilling some powder or some pellets down into this shell carrier area. And you want to keep that clear because it'll, uh, it can get in here and foul up the primer or the, uh, it'll make it difficult for this to rotate and index correctly. And I'll show you, there's a, so you'll, what they say to do is to lift the spring up lock the spring in the upmost in an upper position so you can remove this pin and the spring a tensioner and then a pin here and lift this up and I'll show you when you do that it's uh, you need to be aware of these little fine little pieces um, and you'll want to work on it from the, the back of the machine this this is in the back and if you have your machine bolted to a bench that might be hard to do so um, Mine is not really bolted on a bench, it's just uh, sitting on this piece of wood so I can slide it around and move it. But I'm gonna, I'm, I walked around to the back of the machine and I'll show you uh, what goes on back here when you uh, have an issue you want to correct. So we're looking at the back of the machine, this is the spring. And uh, they say to use a pen, this tool comes with the machine, I, I don't remember what all you do with it, but it, it fits in this hole, there's a hole that's drilled through this shaft here and what you do the first thing I do before I even try to um, uh, pin the spring is is lift up this and slide that out this is the uh, it's called a, it's a tensioner spring here and what can happen if you rotate this spring it can start winding itself up through here and become ineffective and uh, you might Underneath here is a little, what they call the, the pin, but it's actually a little ball. So I'll show you, I'm going to lift this spring up a little bit. You don't have to lift the spring all the way, just uh, take it up to where you can... Yeah, I'll see if I can get it all the way. It's a little hard to do. Okay, got it in halfway all the way. Okay, there we go. So I got the spring locked up. There's a pin right here that says freely moving. It's it's held in place by the spring when it's by the coil spring. So you can remove that. And so right now I've got I've got these two pieces pulled out. Let's see if you can see them. These two pieces here. And so now um, I like to keep a magnet handy to come in here and pull that little ball up. You see I've captured the little ball bearing there. And I can just set that over there and it's going to stay right there with that magnet. And so now I can lift up on this piece here. And you can see there's a little bit of powder and you can lift up on the shell carrier mine has a little powder that's uh, accumulated around it so I'm going to clean this up and uh, that's a lot cleaner than it was a minute ago and so now um, I can set this plate back down and I can slide this pin back in now you see all of this is kind of hard to see from the uh, front of the machine if you've got it bolted down but back here from the back you can see what's going on pretty easily And so now I've got this ball that I can set back in there 
And you can see now with the ball in there, it's it kind of drops down and uh, right and catches on these indexing detents. So now what I'm what I like to do, uh, I'm going to put this piece in last. What I'm going to do now is release this pin and let the spring drop down. And you can see it's the springs come down and that pin down and uh, that's cross drilled slide in the cross drill hole. It uh, it can't come out now. So now I have this piece here to go back in. So what I like to do is hold it like this and bring the spring up and slide that in. And you can see it, it exerts a tension on that, that ball now. And you can hear it indexing. So you can probably see it move just a little bit. So that's a very important uh, detail. It's a very small part, uh, but a very important one. And it's probably one of the first things you'll run into when you start uh, working with one of these machines is you'll have to clear that out. Most people generally uh, would just blow air in there if you've got compressed air, that works. I've done that a lot. Uh, don't normally uh, pull that out, but when you do, you want to be aware of that little ball bearing there and it's, it's good to have a little magnet stack of magnets around that you can uh, catch that kind of stuff